Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? This is your boy Leo coming at you with another video. In this video, I'm gonna give you guys some information on my process of going through the WGU's uh, BSCSIA, which is their Bachelor's in Security, Cyber, and Information Assurance. Um, so far, you know, this is something that I kind of, you know, never thought I was gonna be doing, but, you know, just I wanted to develop more, more skills and be able to provide more to be able to make more money. So that's the, you know, the reasoning why I'm actually doing this. Um, the reasoning behind that is because, you know, I have a, a, you know, a big family, I have three daughters and, you know, a wife, and I'm just trying to provide a better life for them and a better future and invest it in myself. It's only gonna, you know, make their future better if I'm able to make the right moves. So let me just give you guys a little more information on how I actually got here. So I currently, um, I went to school for just my associate's degree at a community college in Northern Virginia. Um, after I went there, I went into another career path into aviation, was kind of jumping around. I didn't know what I wanted to do. Um, as a backup, I ended up going back to IT, which was the first thing I was going to do. Um, so it just happened that I found my job. I found myself a job doing, you know, just regular help desk making 15 bucks an hour, it sucked, you know, but I was able to go in there and learn a lot of things. You know, I hit the ground running. I wasn't expecting to, you know, be trained and stuff like that. I kind of just wanted to, you know, sink or swim and I was able to swim. So I was able to learn things and, you know, take my skills to a next level, move to another company um, and be able to have more, you know, access to do more things, you know, more, you know, knowledge, um, being forced to do other things that I've never done before and having just to learn it, you know, through Google or YouTube. So um, that's something that, you know, I kind of, you know, wanted to continue, you know, in order to get to a point where I could be in a relaxed and a more relaxed job and a more not relaxed job, a more, you know, a job that paid more. And, you know, I, I you know, it gave me a better career advancement. So how I got here. So I'm working, you know, my IT job, I'm still working, you know, helped us and a little more like system admin helped us positions. And like I said, I wanted to take it a step further. I went to go buy a motorcycle. This is kind of random. I went to go buy a motorcycle, like a little dirt bike from this guy. And when I get up there, we just started talking about IT because I noticed he was in the IT field also. Um, so we started talking about IT and then he references, you know, the, the program. And he's like, hey, man, you know, this is what I'm taking, you know, and my, my, you know, my job is paying for it. So, you know, my pay is going to go a lot higher, um, you know, et cetera, et cetera, because of these skills that I'm getting. So the whole entire way back home, I'm just thinking in my head, you know, I was like, I need to do something with myself. You know, I need to go get more skills. I need to be able to do more things to make more money and provide, uh, you know, more skills to my job or my future job um, to be able to get that pay that I want. So I reached back out to him when I, you know, when I got home and I was like, hey, man, what was that program that you, you know, were looking into? And he sent me the information, you know, and I kind of started, you know, I wasn't 100 percent yet. I wasn't, you know, I think I was I think it was one of those things that I was going to pick up and probably drop and quit. But, you know, it, it's life. That's how, you know, things are, you know, we're all busy. You get to a point, you know, that you think, you know, like it's like, man, I don't want to do anything extra. And, you know, I kind of just want to just chill through life. So. It took a lot of back and forth, you know, I decided to, you know, eventually, um, you know, bring it up to my employer and suggest if maybe they're willing to pay for it. And I kind of went in there and I was like, hey, you know, these are the benefits from it. This is the things I'll be able to do. I'll be able to provide. The company's growing. I'll be able to grow with the company. What's better than just having an employee that's already internal that knows the business, you know, continue to grow with the business. So, you know, I... Uh, I pitched it to him and he, you know, was like, okay, yeah, it makes sense. You know, like, I, I think we could do that. So he went ahead and approved, you know, me getting my schooling paid for. Um, it was only for the IT portions of it. So, you know, I wasn't able to, if I had to take anything else that was not IT related, they were not going to pay for it. So I was cool with that. You know, I was able to transfer a lot of my credits into WGU eventually once I finally went through the sign up process. So I only had to do 75% of the program and it was all IT related. All right, so 
we get to that point, you know, and I just decided to reach out to WGU and inquire about more information. So I started getting the contacts back, you know, more emails, more information. Um, at first it was, you know, I was a little confused because I needed to get back in the swing of things, you know, how things are done, you know, at schools and stuff like that. So it took a little bit of, you know, just taking my time and learning, you know, and just sitting down and just being like, hey, you know, I need a got a mosquito in here. Um, I need to just, you know, actually get into this and see if I can go through this process. Um, so I went ahead and signed up. I met with my um, advisor, counselor, and kind of explained further things. You know, they're very, they're very, you know, knowledgeable. They have a lot of information. They were able to answer all my questions, uh, send me information if I needed it to read up on. And it, it, it made me feel confident and it made me feel, you know, like, I wasn't just doing this on myself in a way, you know, I was just kind of like, you know, I kind of had the help that I needed in the support system there also. Um, so, you know, one thing you need to remember is WGU is in uh, at least the West Coast. So they're in another time zone. So you are going to be, you know, in a different time zone if, you know, depending on where you are. So sometimes some of those meetings that you got to make might be in the afternoon if you're in the East Coast, which works perfectly with me because I'm done with, you know, work at 430 and, you know, and then I can have my meeting at six o'clock, eight o'clock, even nine o'clock at night. You know, that's how available they are, which that was really nice. And, very, you know, that that helped me a lot. If I had to meet with some of them in the morning and stuff like that during work, it would have been a little more tougher, I think, you know, in order to be able to get the job done. Um, so uh, the other thing was. So once I signed up with WGU, I was given the counselor. Uh, shout out to my counselor. I'm not going to mention his name. But if you guys uh, do want his name, put him in the put some comments in the in the comments below, and I'll, I'll shoot you guys his name. I I don't really want to give out his information, you know, just just in case. Uh, but shout out to that guy because he was real calm, collective. He gave me all the information I needed. He, you know, his his demeanor just made it things easier because I didn't feel like I was being sold. You know what I mean? Like I, I didn't feel like I was being sold a car. I was being, you know, it was it was an opportunity, you know, instead. Um, after I went through the process and I signed up for everything and I agreed on everything, I went through all the steps that you have to go through online just to check off things along the way. Um, I was finally given the, you know, the, um, my meeting with my mentor. So my mentor is a person that probably, I think she said that she manages about 150, 100 to 150 students. So that's, you know, that's pretty crazy, but believe it or not though, she remember me. She remember all the information we talked about and she was up to date with everything, which is pretty wild that I felt like, you know, it was almost like a, I was the only person she, you know, dealt with, but she deals with 150 other students, which is wild. You know, shout out to her too, because she's been able to provide me a lot of information, motivation, and, you know, it's just, it's always there, you know, like legit. Uh, the payment process, you can either go for FAFSA, you can do self-pay, you know, whatever you want. And you can break it down into payments where you can just pay a month. I think for my program, it was like seven to $800. I might change when you're watching this video in the future. Um, so eight, 700 to $800 a month that I'm paying directly for the payment sections, or you can pay it all at once. You don't get, you know, you don't get a discount or nothing for paying it all at once. So, you know, monthly, whatever, I'm paying that. And at the end of my six terms, um, I'll get reimbursed by my job. So yeah, WGU's terms are six months long. So you're in school for six months. While you're in school for those six months though, you like with well, my course now, I started with four classes. If I finish those four classes, let's say in a month, I can pick up another four classes, another two classes in that same six month period and my prize for the actual classes will stay the same. So I wouldn't have to pay more because I grab more classes. If the more you grab, the better, you know, in that six month term, because you're paying the four, the five grand <clears throat> for those six months, you know what I'm saying? So you might as well, if you can, bring more on board because you're saving money in the long term. Um, other than the payment, everything with the payment went pretty smooth and stuff, you know, and I think it was like a $50, um, setup fee that I had to pay that's the only thing that I had to pay and everything else would just come out you know monthly I think on the 11th um 
they make you go through like a pre-assessment where you have to pass you know and it's, it's pretty simple stuff you know is you know just pay attention you know just keep your eyes on the things you know that you're looking at and reading and you know it's it's, it's a breeze um the orientation is pretty lengthy it's about I, I say you want to give it you know five to eight hours and you can always do it and then come back to it you don't know you know you don't have to all you know do it all so i broke mine into like three days at night before i go to bed i just probably do like two hours of orientation and it's basically you're you're going through all the material that wgu gives you and to understand the college where to find things you know stuff like that it's nothing like really like school related it's just stuff about the school you know and like how it works you know how to find this stuff how to do this stuff how to reach out to a mentor how to you know, it's just making sure that you understand the whole entire portal. And like I said, you know, like it's you have to pass that and, you know, you have some questions they'll answer. You can fail them and just retake them. It's not a big deal. Um, so far, that's been my experience with WGU. I will continue to provide more information in this series through my process. This is for 2023, 2024. We are in November and the semester just started. So I'm gonna give you guys some more information and videos on each class that I'm taking. And, you know, it's just a little more info on, you know, just what to expect. You know, I, I didn't see many of these videos, you know, or if you do see some, they're all over the place or, you know, might be outdated, older. So hopefully these videos stay, you know, up to date and are able to get give you a hand or, you know, help you, um, help you for your process. Uh, if you like this video, hit it with a like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you guys are doing, what's your process, um, you know, motivation, you know, speeches, whatever, you know, any motivation that you guys need, you know, feel free to reach out, you know, because, you know, that's that's something that, you know, we you got to continue to expand our brains, minds, skills, and, you know, it's it, it's scary, but once you pass over that scary feeling, it's actually a great feeling. It, it's it takes over that scary feeling and it gives you a lot of like self-worth so again it's your boy king leo if you like this video like comment subscribe let me know what you think hope you guys have a great day bye